Yellow Gamer Nom is back. So for today's Black Frost video, we are going to help this noob with the Venom Fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Starcode Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the Ecker Slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! You are now looking at one of the best fruits for grinding. If you agree, make sure to comment it on the comment section after watching this video. We're gonna start by showing you the first skill, the Poison Daggers, two things, high damage, and the Poison Debris as DPS. So guys, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. So make sure to lure your enemies every after use of the Poison Dagger for extra damage. You can stay in this area until you reach level 13, but what I did is I left here at level 10 and went to the Fountain City. Again, same strategy, lure the Galley Pirates. Guys, I'm gonna explain something here. When you use the poison daggers, it will knock back your enemy and will use its range attack. And if you fail to dodge it, you will surely die. No! No! Don't worry, we have a strategy here. Use your Z skill, your poison dagger, but don't hold it. Just click once and let the debris damage your enemy. You can also use your left clicks for more damage. Or, if you want it faster, just master the pattern of the Galley Pirates. So just use your Z skill and dodge to the side. There you go, and left click. I hope this strategy helps. You're gonna continue grinding here until you reach level 40. We're gonna unlock our F skill, the Serpent's Wrath. Guys, this is one of the best F skills or flight skills for grinding. I'm gonna show you later why. For the stats, 27 melee, defense 17, plus fruits 79. Next area is the Pirate Village. Guys, we rarely do this, but we're gonna defeat the Brutes. This is only possible because of the F skill. As you can see, I am luring them using the F skill and also damaging them. Just gonna go back and forth. There you go. Use your F skill until you defeat them. But just in case someone survives, use your Poison Daggers to end them. You're gonna keep on repeating that until you reach level 55. And after that, you're gonna start defeating Buggy the Clown. Just a reminder, when using your F skill, make if you get hit by a range attack, it will stop. So make sure to move your Serpent's Wrath in a circular motion. There you go. Make some gaps in order to dodge his range attacks. Okay, so it's very easy to defeat him with the Serpent's Wrath. As long as you don't get hit, we're gonna live here at level 75. Checking our stats, melee 50, defense 50, block fruits 125. Next area is the desert. So here we're gonna start defeating the desert officers. You need to defeat 6. Guys, we just one F skill. See that? We just came from the quest giver and straight to luring them and damaging them. Guys, just one skill. You can defeat 4 of them. Okay, that's why, guys, I'm telling you, this F skill is so strong compared to the other fruits. Wait a minute! Just a reminder, we still have the Poison Dagger, so you can use it if you want. We're gonna leave this area when we reach level 90. Checking our stats first, Ely 50, Defense 50, Block Fruits 170. Next area is the Frozen Village. If you have the money, go straight to the cave, talk to the ability teacher, and buy everything he sells, okay? <laughs> now moving forward to the Snow Bandit, same strategy guys. With the Desert Officers, just use your F skill, sometimes you can use your G skill, and that's it. At 105, we're going to start defeating the boss in this island, Yeti. Guys, check this out. Check this out. 1Z skill. Next is F skill. Guys, make sure to make your circle bigger or the gaps, okay? Because he will use his skill. You want to dodge it. Okay, so keep on doing this. Again, bigger gaps to dodge his skills. And after this, just 1Z skill. And you will defeat him. Guys, as you can see, this foot is really strong for grinding for multiple enemies or even single target enemies. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 130. Next island is the Marine Fortress. And off we go to the mini boss in this island, the Vice Admiral. Same strategy with the Yeti. Good news, you will also unlock your third skill, the Noxious Shot. Guys, this skill is very strong. I'm gonna show you just one combo. You can defeat your enemy. Okay, again, at Master 100, the Noxious Shot. Let's try it. First, use your Z and your X skill. Check the damage. 1F skill. Go. And that's it. See that, guys? Okay, we're gonna leave this area at level 220. Stat check, melee 80, defense 80, blocks for 500. Next area is the prison. So we have three bosses here. First is the warden. Wallstrat, guys. When you hear the word prison or the area prison, Wallstrat is the answer. So there you go. Just use your Z, X, and F skill. I'm gonna show you the damage. 
almost half HP. And the best thing is that this boss cannot hit you as long as there is a wall in between you. Same thing will happen with the Chief Warden at level 230. At 240, you can start defeating Swan. Okay, same strategy, but you need to create distance. You will get hit by his skill, that's fine. Your damage is stronger compared to his. We're going to do server hop here until you reach level 350. Checking our stats first, melee 130, same with defense, block fruit 790. Next area is the Magma Village. Our target is Magma Admiral, and for the strategy, guys, use your ZNX skill. Next, make sure that he is still standing in a debris. There you go. It's, again, there is damage there, and use your F skill. Imagine this, your F skill plus the DPS of the Venom debris. Also remember that you need to dodge his skill. This is skill, and after you do that properly, everything will be easy. One more Z and X scale, and I think you can defeat Magma Admiral. Guys, imagine 3 to 4 skills is enough to defeat one boss in an island. So the goal here, 425. Stat check first before we leave this area. Melee, 150. Same with defense. Block fruits, 978. For our next area, the underwater city. We're going to do another server hop here with the Fishman Lord. Yes, he's the one in the window. Again, use your Z and X skill. If you use your F skill and move towards him, there's a chance that he can damage you, so don't use the F skill. There you go. You're gonna leave this area when you reach level 500. And when you reach that level, next island is the Skylands. Guys, I'm talking of the upper sky. There you go. So you're gonna start defeating the Whisper. For the technique, just stay in this rock. Yes, this boss won't be able to damage you. Obviously, we're gonna server up here. Check that out, guys. He's trying to attack you with his bazooka, but to no avail. Continue on doing this. Guys, you can use other strategies, but I'm just showing you an easier way. There you go. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 575. Next up is a Thunder God. So guys, when using your F skill, avoid doing this. Okay, after hitting him, there you go. Make sure to make longer gaps, or if you use your F skill, after hitting him, Stop using it, okay? Okay, this will prevent you from getting hit. So just focus on using your Z and X skill to damage him. Gold here is level 675. You're also going to unlock your Toxic Fog. The best way to use it is use your C and after that F skill. Again at 675, stat check, 250 melee defense, block foot 1525. Next area is the Fountain City. We're gonna defeat the Cyborg here. So again, C skill. Use your X skill, F skill. There you go. Make sure that he's in the debris. And after that, finish it with the X skill. Again, we're gonna stay here and exceed level 700. My target here is usually level 725. Make sure to finish the prison quest. Here are stats, melee and defense 270, block force 1635. Congratulations in advance to we've reached the second C. Moving on, we're gonna go straight with the mercenaries. Again, how do you start grinding? Use your Z skill, use your F skill to lure them, and to finish them off, use your X or Z skill. And that's it guys. Just a reminder, don't forget to turn on your observation hockey to dodge some of their skills, and that's it. You're gonna grind until you reach level 775. There you go, stat check first. 300 million defense, block fruits 1725. Next area is the second quest giver. We're gonna start defeating the Swan Pirates. So here you can lure them by using your C skill. There you go. And after luring four of them, you can use your F skill to damage them first and finish them using your Z and X skill. Guys, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 900 because we need mastery. We're gonna skip the bosses, Diamond and Jeremy, in order to unlock the final skill, the transformation. There you go, guys. This skill is very strong because this increases your damage as well as your defense. Here it is, it, and it really looks cool, guys. Toxic Fog will make you hard to see everything. Just use your Observation Hockey. Z and X skill, increase damage. And also your F skill will be a homing attack, but it only targets three enemies, okay? So again, at 900, we're gonna leave this area. Stat check, melee defense, 350, block fruits, 2000. Let's stop the green zone. First, we're gonna defeat the Marine Captains. Guess my technique here again. Lure them without hitting them. And once you create distance, this will happen. They will stop chasing you. You can aim your X skill properly. Add it up with the Z skill or the F skill. Okay, there you go. You will get hit, but it's fine. We'll defeat them first. There you go. So guys, that's how you defeat them easily. You're gonna grind here 25 levels. So when you reach level 925, you can start defeating Fajita or Fujitora. 
we're gonna try our transform form full damage here guys we're gonna do some wrap right so transform we're gonna use our z and x skill there you go and one f skill okay, no toxic fog yet let's check the damage more than half hp okay so let's use our z and x skill again now let's use our toxic fog and i think that's enough to defeat the boss Again, we're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 1000. You're also going to unlock a title, The Adventure, checking our stats, melee 400, defense 400, box fruits 2200. Next area is the snow mountain, so we're gonna defeat snow troopers here. I decided to level up 150 levels here because it's very easy. Number 4, use your X skill, use your Z skill, and an F skill to finish everything. See that guys? Again, 150 levels. Don't worry, it's really easy. They're near the quest giver. I go 150, guys. After that, let's check our stats first. Melee 465, defense 682, max black spots. Okay, guys, so next up, we got the hot and cold. So here, we're only going to defeat a smoke admiral. Check this out, guys. It's very easy to defeat. Use your Z and X skill. There you go. And then let's transform. Guys, only two serpents wrath. Is enough to defeat him four skills that means four skills for a boss that's the third skill check his hp okay one more f skill serpent's wrath in transform form and that's it we're gonna grind here 100 levels until 1250 next up the cursed ship we are going to focus on two mobs here first is the ship deckhands guys there's a wall strap here lower four there you go use your x and c skill that's enough but if you want you can use our previous strategy lure them use your x z and f skill okay so at 1300 next area the next mob is the ship stewards so again lure four here you can use your x z again and finish with the f skill okay okay so 50 level ups here we're gonna leave this area when we reach level 1350 Stat check, melee 655, defense 1098, max blocks foods. Next area is the ice castle. So here, same strategy with the Arctic Warriors. I'm gonna show it to you. As you can see, I'm luring four without hitting them. Go. So after luring four, jump, use your X, use your Z, and your F. Okay? Same Cs. <laughs> We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1400. And after that, we're gonna fight the boss in this island, and that boss is the Awakened Ice Admiral. Guys, I decided to stay here until I reach 1,500 because again, it's easier to server hop this boss compared to the Tidekeeper. Okay, so now are you ready to defeat the Ice Admiral? I'm gonna show it to you. Full fight. So let's transform. Yes, let's use our Z and X skill. Okay, let's use our F skill. Okay, so the damage is like, I think, one-fourth. Now let's use our Fog. One Z skill, one X skill, okay, one F skill. There you go, he's almost dead. One more Z and X skill. And I think that's it. Again, just a reminder, we are going to reach 1,500 here. Guys, a trivia, do you know who is the user of the Venom Fruit in the anime One Piece? Comment it in the comment section. For the stats of level 1,500, here we are. Max Black Fruit, 750 melee. 1450 defense. Don't forget to finish the Coliseum quest. Fight Indra. The HP is enough. Head to the green zone. Find Mr. Captain, guys. And congratulations! Welcome to the third C. Okay, so for our first target, the Pirate Millionaires, guys, again, lure them without hitting them. Same with the Arctic Warriors. And then use your X, Z, and F skill. Make sure that they're still in the toxic debris so that there is continuous damage, and that's it. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 1550. And next target is the stone, the boss in this island. So he's located here. Guys, it's kinda tough to be honest. But I still did server hop here. If you want, you can go back to the pirate millionaires and grind it. Okay, I won't force you here, but what I did, I stayed here, okay? Until 1675, checking our stats. Max Black Fruits, defense 1928, melee 800. Next island is the Hydra Island. We're gonna go straight with the Empress. Guys, just Wall Strat and that's it. Again, Wall Strat, lure her inside her castle. Wall Strat, easy, okay? The only enemy here are Bounty Hunters. So guys, if someone attacks you and you defeat Island Empress, that's fine. Again, we are here to grind, not to fight. We're leaving this area at 1750. Next area is the Great Tree. So 
So our target here is the boss in this island, Kilo Admiral for the technique. Hit him with the F, but make sure to jump here in this high ground. Use your Z and X scale and everything will be fine. This boss cannot hit you here, which makes it really easy. Again, watch out for bounty hunters because there are lots of bounty hunters here in the third C. Okay, 1,800 stat check, Dox puts max. Defense is 2250, melee 850. Guys, did I mention that the lower your HP, the faster the flight of your FP skill is? Yeah. Anyway, back to grinding. Next island is the floating turtle. So here, we're just gonna defeat 4 mobs, okay? First is the fishman captains. We're gonna level up here 25 times. Focus on grinding that even if a dimension has spawned, guys, just focus on grinding, okay? Don't mind those things. Again, we're gonna grind 25 levels here. When reach level 1825 next month, the forest pirates. You can do wall strut here in the house. There you go. So the damage that they will inflict to you is really low, so it's fine. You can tuck it. Just use your X, Z, and C skill to defeat them, okay? Your goal level here is 1900. Again, you can do the wall strut. Next up, the jungle pirates. You're going to need to level up 25 times here, yes. Just 25 levels. After that, you're gonna leave this area and move on to the musketeer pirates. Advanced congratulations, final mob on this island. After this, last two islands, okay? So at 1,975, yes, you're gonna level up 50 times here. Stat check first, max defense in blast fruits, melee 1,325. Guys, all remaining stats will go in the melee stat. Next up, the Hunted Castle. There are lots of mobs here, but our only target is Reborn Skeleton. I'm gonna show you why. 1X, Z, C, and F skill is enough burst them comparing it to the other mobs they're easy to defeat and they're near the quest giver okay so we're gonna grind here until you reach level 2075 and finally our last island the sea of treats last two mobs and for the first one the peanut scouts you're gonna need to lure four use your x z activate your c and f skill and that's it guys keep on doing that it's very easy to grind here because they're so near the quest giver and the experience is not that low. Okay, at 2200, we are heading to the island of the door user boss. <laughs> so we're gonna defeat the cookie crafters here. Guys, we are at an advantage with these mobs. They cannot hit range attacks, so we can take advantage of our F skill without the idea of getting hit by range attacks. You're gonna keep on defeating these mobs and reach max level. I think that's it for this video. Again, I hope that you learned something. And for more requests and suggestions, just comment it on the comment section. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out. Like and subscribe.